Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there is a show called Whale Tank in which there are five investors. These are called whales, and they invested a total of rupees fifty crores in ten businesses, B one through B ten, such that each investor invested in exactly three businesses. So five is investors and three business each. So there are total of fifteen investments. So there are some businesses in which there are multiple investors also. Okay, and all the amounts were integral multiples of one crore. Now we are given that only B one, B six, and B seven had multiple investors. So other investments they were made by a single investor. Okay, and it is also given that if each Investor invested uh, had an equal stake in a business that had multiple investors. So B one, B six, and B seven. So if there are multiple people investing in them, so they will invest same amount. So let us say two people invested in B one, so both of them will invest same amount. Three people invested in B six, so all three of them would have would have invested same amount. So that is the condition given to us. So we will have to make a table like this. We have to find out that what is the investment received by these people. these businesses and what is the amount invested by each person so let us write the number of businesses b1 b2 b3 and so on till b10 and we will uh, jot the information whatever information is given to us we shall use it and then try to find the values and similarly for these investors these are called whales w1 w2 w3 W four and W five, they invested in three businesses each. So first business, second business, third business, and the total investment. So that's how we are going to tabulate this data and solve and answer the questions. So the conditions that are given to us is that B one received the highest investment of twelve crores. So B one investment is twelve crores, while the highest invested by a single investor was seven crore in B three. So B three received seven crores. Okay. Now uh, B one, B six, and B one, B seven had multiple investors. Now twelve could be like twelve uh, could be three plus three plus three plus three. Four investors. It could be like four plus four plus four also. It could be six plus six also. It could be two plus two six times also. But there are only five investors, right? So how can it be two six times? So either it is three plus three plus three, or six plus six, or four plus four plus four. We do not know yet. Now this is used, and then we are given next is. The biggest investment of W five was five crore in B four. Okay, so W five invested in B four five crores, and that was his highest investment in any business. So this is five crore. He also invested in B two and B ten. So he invested in B two and B ten also. Amounts not known. W three did not invest in B three. Fine. W Two made the highest investment of twelve crores. So W two made a total investment of twelve crores, and W one was one of the two investors. That means there are two investors who invested the least eight crores. So W one is one of these investors. Okay. So now we know that W one invested. So there is one investor investing twelve crores. Two investors investing eight crores. So total is twenty eight. Remaining is twenty two crores. Okay, now twenty two crores could be eight is minimum. So if we cannot go beyond this, so nine thirteen if we take that is more than so twelve is maximum. So nine thirteen not possible. Ten twelve not possible because twelve uh, we are given that it is the single most in means only one investor. Okay, there will be other reason also that's how we can reject twelve. I'll uh, we'll solve it later. And eleven and eleven is the one possibility. So the ten and twelve can be rejected. We will see one more reason how to reject it. Secondly, since we are given that only one investor of twelve crores, uh, so we will assume that there is only one investor, right? So because for least we are given two people. Okay, W one and W four both invested in B six and B seven. Okay, so W one and W four they invested in both these businesses B six and B seven.
except W5, each investor invested a distinct amount in all three businesses. That means all these values are different numbers. W5 invested same amount in two businesses. Okay. Now he has invested 5 crore in one of the businesses. Now he could have invested 11 crore in this or he could have like see the values are 12 crores, 8 crores, 11 crores. Okay. So the only possibility is 3 plus 3 making it 11. Okay. Suppose we take, uh, see if we, we, we told that these are the possible investments, right? 9, 13 was not possible because maximum is 12. 10, 12 will also not be possible because he cannot be 10. He cannot be 12. He cannot be 8 also, right? So the only possibility was 11, 11. So that was another reason to reject that 10, 12 case. So W5 invested total 11 crores. He must have invested 3, 3 crores in both these businesses. Okay. So uh, all others invested distinct amounts. So for example, W1 invested 8 crores. Now how can someone invest 8 crores? So 8 crores could be 1, 2, 5. Another possibility could be 1, 3 and 4. Okay. All right. So this is also done. B5 received twice the money received by B8. W1 and W3 invested in these businesses respectively. So B5, W1 invested in B5 and W3 invested in B8. Okay, and this number is twice of this number. Okay, and one more information is given to us is total 6 crore was invested in B6. Total 6 crores here. So we have also found out B2 and B10, they are 3 crores each. Now, if you look at this, uh, like 1, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 5, this case we were talking about. So, B5 received twice the money received by B8. So, if we suppose we take 2, 1, 2, 5 wala case. If we take 1, 2, 5, so this should be 2, this should be 1. Just take it. If we take 2 and 1, now it has to be 1 or 5. So, B6 is total 6 crores. So we cannot have 6 investors of 1 crore, we cannot have 5 crore as 1 investor because each investor should be equal. So this case is not possible, 1 to 5 cases not possible because we cannot make 6 crores in this scenario for B6. So this is rejected, so we get 1, 3 and 4 crores. So that means B5 will be 4 crores and B8 will be 2 crores. So single investments B8. 2 crores and B5, 4 crores. Okay. Now B6 is total 6 crore. It cannot have 6 investors of 1 crore. So it will have 2 investors of 3 crores each. So it will be 3 plus 3. So B6 will be 3 crores and B7 will have 1 crore investment here from B6. Uh, for, uh, uh, this is B7, uh, 1 crore investment for uh, from W1. Now B7 is a multi investment deal right so it is not one crore total we have multiple investors that we are yet to find out how many investors are there okay so this uh, we have filled thus far so this is taken care of now we are left with one statement that w3 did not invest in b3 and b3 has an investment of seven crore okay so w3 does not invest in b3 suppose now we already know b6 is three crore per investor b7 is one crore per investor Suppose if we take W, B3 here, so just taking an example, if we take B3 here, B3 there is an investment of 7 crore, so 7 crore that means total comes as 11, okay, now this should be 8 crores, now see this big investment is left, 12 crore investment in B1, now only 2 people can invest in B1, okay, so in that scenario B1 should be 6 plus 6, if there are 2 people investing in B1, then it will be 6 plus 6. So if you put 6 here and 6 here, his investment of 8 crores is done. But he is investing more than 8 crores. He, he has left with one more investment. Okay. Everyone is investing in 3 businesses. So if we take 6, if we assume that B3, uh, W4 invested in B3. So this will complete his investment. B1 should get 2 investment because we have not filled B1 anywhere. So B1 will be 6 plus 6, that makes it 12, right? So this case, he is not left with no third investment. That is why B3 cannot be by this person. So that means only investor who can invest in B3 is this.
we could say that this also b3 cannot uh, w3 obviously b3 uh, w3 cannot invest in b3 because if he invest in b3 his investment would be acha we we do not know that is a or not right okay so b3 the investment is this person right that is 7 okay now we are not sure of this b1 how how this 12 crore is received right now we have we have filled the investment portfolio of two businesses two investors right two whales so we cannot have by three people we cannot have by four people so this 3 plus 3 plus 3 concept is one if we take 6 plus 6 again if we think that it can be 6 plus 6 his investment will become 30 crores so that is also not possible okay so that means there is only one possibility which is 4 plus 4 plus 4 so this person will invest in b1 4 crores this person will also invest in b1 4 crores and this person will also invest in b1 which is 4 crores so his investment is total is 8 so this investor should have 11 crores 2 plus 4 is 6 and that is 5 to be spent here 7 plus 4 is 11 he should invest 1 crore more okay now total 15 investments so 15 investment that means 5 extra right so total 15 investment that means 5 extra out of these 5 extra two extra investments we have found out one extra investment so b b7 should receive a total of three investments b7 receives 1 crore from one person so it should be 1 plus 1 plus 1 so two extra investments one extra investment two more extra investment total five extra investments b7 is 3 crore so this person must have invested in b7 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 and uh b7 three people investing in b7 okay now this must be b9 that is remaining one that is 5 crores in b9 okay so this is how we will complete this table of uh the investment by each of these whales okay so the first question is who invested in b9 so whale 3 invested in b9 what was the amount invested in b2 so b2 the total investment is of 3 crores how many investors invested in b1 so there are three investors in b1 what was the total amount invested by w3 so w3 invested a total of 11 crores how many businesses received an investment more than 5 crore so one business two business three businesses so there are just three businesses which received more than 5 crores of investment so that is the solution to this set and the answers to the questions